What's up guys, Leslie Robbins here for Young Hollywood coming to you from the Breakers in Palm Beach, Florida, where I am taking you behind the food scene of this luxury oceanfront hotel. Chef Anthony Sigignano, thank you for having us at your second home, the Breakers. This is a beautiful second home to have. It sure is, it's our pleasure to have you here. Now, you are executive chef of all of the restaurants. There are nine restaurants. <laughs> that is correct, yes, yes. And we cover all gamuts of food and beverage, ranging from Asian to Italian and everything in between. We started this garden many, many years ago. It's uh, primarily organic. Well, this is all fresh, it's green, it's beautiful. What? is here right now that looks good, that maybe would go well with some things that you and I are going to put together at the Seafood Bar. Yeah, Day. yeah, well we have some wonderful basil. We're gonna use this for actually for a cocktail a little bit later. We have any herb that's required in the restaurants, most of it is coming from here. What do the chives do? Chives, we're gonna put some of these chives in a garnish our tuna tostado dish that we're doing. Mm. We are now in one of your nine restaurants, and I feel like I'm on a yacht. <laughs> yeah, welcome to our seafood bar. And the design is exactly that. It's, it's designed to look like the interior of a luxury yacht or cruise liner. Because the ocean is right out there. Yep, we're right on the beautiful Atlantic Ocean. Chef, we are in front of a very, very hot grill with some stunning ingredients before us. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna be preparing our tuna tostado. We have some, uh, some yellowfin tuna. See by the color, it's very fresh. Do you get your fish daily? We get our fish daily, yes. Of course. We're gonna be making a, a dressing out of a sweet chili sauce, and this is a Peruvian red pepper puree. It's called Locato. We're gonna put a little touch of olive oil, and then as with everything, we're gonna season with some fresh ground pepper. They always say to season things salt. with salt and pepper. How important is salt and pepper? Well, it's very important, and it's really used to enhance the natural flavor of the food. So we're gonna mix this mix mixture in with our fish. Another component of this dish, there's gonna be a slaw that we do. We have some cabbage, some radishes, some of our garden herbs are in here. So we have some crispy fried wontons, and we just put a bed of the slaw, of our fish mixture. It's such a popular dish, and you never know how many steps it takes to make it so delicious. So we garnish this with a little bit of avocado. Next dish. Next dish, filet mignon sliders caramelized onions, and a red wine reduction sauce, Parmesan aioli. So I started a couple pieces here. Okay. We have our, our Parmesan aioli, and we're just gonna put a little bit on the bottom of each, each bun. The buns are toasted brioche that we bake in-house. Now we're in a seafood bar doing other than fish items because we're really proud of the one or two items on our appetizer section that don't consist of fish. Nothing like good caramelized onions. And it has so many applications. Oh, I'll just eat that. It did Wait. perfect. Reduced sauce, red wine, a little demi glass. We usually just add these little garnishes at the end, and that's our dish. So the next dish is a uh, kale salad. It has broccoli, fresh kale, obviously, fairly healthy. Fairly we, healthy. You know, we were looking, for, you know, something clever to do with broccoli. So this is where we ended up. And lentils, right? So you throw this in a bowl, and some heirloom carrots. Little grapes go in, so you can see as we're building texture and flavor. But the dressing is really, it's a, it's a honey Dijon vinaigrette with some of our chives from our garden. So it's a, it's a very uh, common flavor profile, but sir, it has sir, a ton of flavor. Do not use the word common okay. in this sir. kitchen. There, there's <laughs> nothing common about your food. <laughs> right. This is glorious, yeah. And then we finish this with, this is a, these are caramelized peanuts. So we just keep building flavors, and then the last thing we do is we take some fresh lemon, and that finishes it up. We've done some cool dishes, but it is stone crab season, which just started a few weeks ago. So we've got to check those out. They call them stone crab, I think, because they're hard like stone, or they live under stone, or not sure exactly why, but it's a pretty hefty uh, claw right there. Chef, this all looks amazing. Napkin is going on my lap. Fantastic. And I see the cocktail with the basil we picked earlier this morning. Absolutely, it's a ginger basil grapefruit spritzer, which is a very nice combination of delicate flavors complementing basil. It's perfect. Awesome. Looking at the ocean, drinking this, done. Can't beat it. No, I can beat it until by you eat the eating, until yes, you eat the food. of course.
perfect. Yeah, good. You can't beat the food, drinks here, done. Done, done, and done. All right. Perfection. Pleasure, thank you. Cheers again. Thank you. <laughs>